So we are going to start the NAT lab today. Okay. And uh, this will be a little, you know, bigger configuration. Oh. So why don't you actually start the lab with me? And uh, in the process, I'll explain. Okay? Okay. Okay. So I have taken two routers. Let me just, you know, uh, create the diagram and then I'll explain it to you what I'm doing. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, okay. sir. So at this point on the router, I want, I require a additional uh, interface. So mm -hmm. I'll just pull up one additional interface here. I'll switch it off first. And then let's say NM2FE2W, fine with this. So I got another two interfaces.
So I'm giving the internal network as 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And I'm yeah. giving IP addresses to, to this species. I could have done it through DHCP also, but you know, okay. And I'm assuming my DNS server to be 4.2.2.2. That's the public DNS server. Yeah. Now, these servers are there in the internet. One is for Google, one is for Yahoo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what I will do here is I'll just create, I give IP address first. So 11. Yeah, of course, they will not be in the same network. But for our lab purpose, we are just doing it. Mm -hmm. And in the services section for HTTP, uh, we can actually we can actually change these things just you know for fun. Google. This guy is Yahoo and he's 11.0.0.3, the default gateway and I'll just close it and go to the services. Uh, I'll just change the index.html as the first page you get. So I just say that it is a Yahoo. And as I said, this server is my, you know, this server is, I'm <clears throat> simulating this as public DNS server 4.2.2.2. Let me first give the IP address. Let's say his IP address is 
let's say 252 let's keep it zero doesn't matter uh, 4.2.2.1 let's say that's the default gateway and uh, now here under services i will have to start the dns i yeah. don't want dhcp server uh, service here but uh, i need dns service so i'll go to dns and then first of all i'll make it on because by default it is off and i'll say that www.google.com is a record and ip address is 11.0.0.2 and i'll add him and then www.yahoo.com record 11.0.0.3 and i'll add him uh, so this is done and uh, then i need to configure this router this is my service provider router it's simulating service provider environment okay. yes. let me write one more thing here that this when the service provider is uh, you know he is getting an ip address from the uh, when the, the our uh, gateway router is getting this uh, ip address from the public address from the service provider okay yes. and let's say that that public address is 200.0.0.1 slash let's say 29 okay I'll tell you why I have given this kind of address. And then one very important thing, I will give the last IP address of that network to this router, this site. So it will be 200.0.0.6 slash 29. Okay. Yeah. So seven would have been broadcast address. And this is uh, this one. So here it is now. I can configure this. So would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No. And then I'll go to the configuration mode. I'll give a host name. Let's say it is ISP. Interface, fast Ethernet. Zero slash zero. Uh, zero slash zero is this one. So IP add no shutdown. IP address four dot two dot two dot one two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. Uh, this is zero slash zero, and then exit out. Interface pass Ethernet zero slash one. No shutdown. IP address uh, 0 slash 1 is this one so it is 200.0.0.6.255.255.248 of course this side will not come up because on this side I have not yet uh, made it up I have not configured anything so uh, <laughs> I'll go to the third interface, 1 slash 0. So interface, fast Ethernet, 1 slash 0. No shutdown. IP address is 11.0.0.1. Uh, I'll give a show run here. And let me cross verify the configuration. So host name is ISP. There are three interfaces: zero slash zero, zero slash one, and one slash zero. On zero slash zero, I have four dot two dot two dot one. Actually, that is connected to the DNS server four dot two dot two dot two. 
and then on 0 slash 1 it is 200.0.0.6255.255.248 this is actually the interface which is getting connected to gateway router and then 1 slash 0 is 11.0.0.1.255.255.255.0 and my configuration looks fine i'll just save it okay yeah And then I will actually move to my own router, my company router. And there are two interfaces there which I have to configure. No. Uh, enable go to the configuration mode i'll give a host name as gateway you can basically give whatever you want uh, and i'll go to the interface fast ethernet zero slash zero i'll say no shutdown ip address that's uh, 10.0.0.1 255.255.255.0 and i'll go to interface pass ethernet 0 slash 1 no shutdown ip address 200.0.0.1 sorry dot 255.255.248 dot dot So if I say show running configuration, I just I have just configured IP addresses on both of my interfaces. One side is which is connected to my internal network and one side is connected to the internet. So you basically can give a description also here. Uh, like interface fast internet zero slash zero. I can give a description saying connected to internal network. and actually on interface pass ethernet 0 slash 1 i can give a description saying connected to internet and in this way if i give do show run you can see the description in the interfaces
this is done up till this yeah yeah okay so now at this point uh, let me test the connectivity okay so yes. i'm in the gateway router and i'll uh, ping to one of my internal pcs or better i'll just ping to <clears throat> the broadcast address of my internal network so 10.0.0.255 and i can see that Two, four, five, six, three. Two, three, four, five, six. Everybody is replying, right? Yeah. So that means uh, this side is fine. And uh, let me actually uh, ping to this uh, IP address of the router. Okay. So if I ping to ten dot zero dot no, I'm so sorry. This is two hundred dot zero dot zero dot six. And I'm getting a reply that's working fine. Now, from here, let me try to ping to the IP addresses of Google Love, Google, and Facebook. Assume that I know the IP addresses, okay? So, ping okay. to 11.0.0.2. And this is where I am stuck, right? So I'm not able yes. to send a packet. Let me look at the routing table. Show IP route. So if I look at the routing table, <clears throat> I have seen that there are two uh, networks. He knows about two networks. One is the 10 network, which is on 0 slash 0, 200 network, which is on 0 slash 1. And he doesn't know about those networks like, you know, the Yahoo and Google and he doesn't have a default network also right so yeah. what i will do here is i'll give a static default route pointing okay. towards the service provider so i'll go to the configuration mode and i'll say ip route 0 .0 .0 .0, and i'll say send the packet out of fast ethernet 0 slash 1 most of the time you will not be knowing what is the ip address of the service provider so you will just give your exit interface okay okay yeah and uh, now if i say show ip route you will find that there is a default route okay and it is telling that gateway of the last resort for 0, .0, .0, .0, .0 means a for any network is okay yeah. So here, if I would have actually uh, given, uh, <clears throat> instead of the fast Ethernet interface, I would have given the IP address of the next router, you could have seen the IP address here. Okay. Okay. But anyway, now let me ping. Ping to... 11.0.0.2 and I'm getting a reply okay if I ping to 11.0.0.3 and I'm getting a reply okay yeah now What I can do here is What I will do here is that yeah. I will give the DNS server's IP address to the router. Okay, the public DNS server's IP address to the router. In that way, he can communicate with this, you know, <coughs> uh, yeah. servers through a domain name. 
ओके आईपी नेम सर्वर ओके दैट मींस डीएनएस सर्वर डीएनएस सर्वर का नाम है 4.2.2.2 okay yeah and then now if i uh, try with uh, if i try to ping to www.google.com it should get resolved and it is going to the dns server okay So it will take some time just hold on or yes and it's working correct uh -huh. now that means my router is able to actually go there there is no problem correct yeah let me try from my internal pcs then so if i go to this pc and try to ping let's say ping to www.yahoo.com So basically he is not able to ping and even if I try with uh, 11.0.0.2 it should return a request timeout. Okay, you can see that, you know, he is not able to ping. The IP address mm -hmm. and everything is correct. There is no problem. Okay, the why it is so. Now, if you uh, look at the IP, you know, when when my PC was, uh, when my router was actually sending a ping packet to, let's say, this IP address. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. What was the source IP address of the packet? The destination IP address was, yes, 11.0.0.2, correct? Yes. What will be the source IP address? The source IP address will be the IP address of the outgoing interface. Yeah. Now, in order to get into this uh, network, he has to send a packet out of this interface, right? Yeah. So the outgoing IP address will 200.0.0. Oh, sorry, the source IP address will be 200.0.0.1. Yeah. Okay. So, which was perfectly normal and the service provider has allowed it. Okay. Okay. Now, when I'm trying to ping from here, uh -huh. what will be uh, the destination IP address will be this only. But the, yeah. what will be the source IP address? That is 10.0.0.2. Right? Yeah, internal. And yes. this is the internal and this is a private IP address. So you yeah. assume that this router is blocking it. Okay. Basically, this router doesn't have any route to this particular network. 
Uh-huh. Okay, so yeah. what we, we will be doing in the NAT lab is this router, we will configure it, uh, configure NAT here, and whenever he has to send a packet to outside world, this uh-huh. router will translate the original IP address into this IP address and send. Okay. Okay. So it will get translated. The original IP address will get translated to 200.0.0.1. And this router is perfectly okay with 200.0.0.1. Getting my point? Yeah. And when the reply is coming back, it is coming to 200.0.0.1 actually. And he will have the NAT table built. And then he will change the 200.0.0.1 IP address to original IP address. And he will send it inside. Mm-hmm. Whatever we have done till now, we were actually uh, making the setup ready for NAT. Now our NAT lab will start. Okay. Up till this, it is clear? Yeah. Okay. So now I'll go to this router. There are three steps in NAT. Okay, step number one, you have to define your interfaces. So that means that means you have to tell the router that which inter, uh, interface is in the internal network and which interface is connected to internet. Okay, so for uh-huh. that, I'll go to the configuration mode. Let's say I'm going to the interface fast internet zero slash zero which is actually facing uh, facing the internal network right so i'll say yeah. ip nat in okay. and then i'll go to the other interface which is uh, facing the service provider interface fast ethernet zero slash one and i'll say ip nat out So step number one is done, defining your interfaces. Okay. Okay. Step number two, what I will do is I'll have to create the access list. Okay. I have to create the access list and inside the access list, I will allow IP addresses. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, the router will NAT according to the access list. Okay. The router is going to NAT only, router is going to allow only all only those people or router is going to NAT only those internal addresses which are permitted in the access list. Okay. So let's say that I will permit the first four. So I'll create the access list, standard access list, IP, access list standard and let's say it is for natting right so uh-huh. nat okay let's say nat permit okay and yeah. then i'll say permit host n.0.0.2 permit host 10.0.0.3 Permit host 10.0.0.4 and permit host 10.0.0.5. Now, if you wanted to allow everybody, you could have said any. Yeah. Permit any. Okay, that would have worked. But I just wanted to show you something. So, you know. So now my access list is also ready. The third okay. is the NAT command. Okay. The third is the NAT command. So I'll say IP NAT. If you want to NAT, what do you want to NAT? I want to NAT my inside addresses outside. I want to NAT the inside addresses outside. Okay. What is the source? Like you know, which IP addresses you want to source? Uh, you want to NAT? The source of the IP addresses is given in a list. Okay. Okay, the name of the list is, this is the access list. 
yeah. as I remember yes, uh, day, day before yesterday, I was telling you that yes. not, uh, sorry, access list is actually a list. Yeah. Right? So yeah. it will, uh, you know, so I'm telling that the list, the name of the list is NAT permit and it has to be NATed out of interface, uh, the outgoing interface. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Okay. Enter. Okay. Now, let's read this again. IP net. If you want to net, what do you want to net? I want to net my inside addresses. You have defined the inside and outside this one, right? In the interface. Yeah. And then what is the source? The source of the addresses which are to be netted is there in a list. The name of the list is a net permit and it has to be netted out of interface fast internet <laughs> zero slash one. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. if I say do show IP NAT translations, okay, nothing is there because as of now, nothing has been NATed. So, what I will do is for the first time, let me go to this PC. And I can go to a web browser. I'll go to the web browser. And actually, I can type www.google.com. And, oops, it's, it was it. <laughs> I should have put dot, but I have put shift dot maybe. That's why the symbol is coming. Okay. Okay. So I'll just no, just I'll rectify that. So. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. That means now I'm able to access. And if I give the command show IP NAT translations, you can see that 10.0.0.2, the inside local address has got converted to 200.0.0.1 which is the IP address on 0 slash 1 interface. Inside local is the private IP address. Inside global is the public IP address. Yeah. Few of them are TCP and few of them are UDP because these TCP packets are going actually to 4.2.2.2 to get the I, I know um, domain name result. Okay. Then they yeah. could know that uh, Google's uh, IP address is 11.0.0.2 and you know they have sent the packet to 11. Okay? Yeah. Now, this is done here. If I actually uh, this, I, uh, this PC actually was not allowed in the access list so mm -hmm. if i try to send a packet let's i can i can directly give 11.0.0.2 you don't require dns then and you are getting a request timeout yeah because he was not permitted in the access list and he is not natted. He is going with his own uh, private IP address, and that gets rejected. That gets dropped. Yeah. This part is clear. Yes. 
Okay. Now, after a couple of years, your company has become little bigger. And what they have done is they have bought a server for themselves. Okay. Okay. And let's say this is a web server for your company. Mm -hmm. I'll give a of course, it is not put in the same network, but here I'm just uh, putting it. Okay, and let's assume that its IP address is uh, 10.0.0.50, and it doesn't require a DNS server, uh, but under the services, let's say, my company name is xyz.com okay under the http i'll just make some changes let's say this is xyz company xyz and uh, i'll just save it so this is my uh, web server and now yeah. what I have done is I have gone to the approach the service provider and I'm saying uh, listen I require one more IP address so earlier you have given 200.0.0.1 I'm using that uh, IP address uh, uh, my internal network is accessing the internet through that IP address but okay. I require one more IP address so that you know i can specifically assign it to the server for the server yeah. purpose okay so yes. let's assume that the service provider has given you 200.0.0.2 okay okay so what i will do here is i will statically assign the public address 200.0.0.2 for this okay yeah now in order to do static nat now you have to have nat in nat out okay mm -hmm. ip nat in nat out that is already done right yeah i don't require list okay that list is not required but it is there for internal network let it be there and then i think i have to write the nat command so i will say ip nat okay okay so I have to net my inside addresses. The source of the address, see, is now the source is not a list, but I will statically tell him. Okay. okay. So yeah. static, and then if I put a question mark, it is telling give me the inside local IP address. You have seen in the NAT table this earlier that inside local IP address means the private IP address yeah and inside global means the public IP address correct yeah okay so it's asking me to give the inside local IP address that is the my IP the private IP address of the DNS server so 10.0.0.50 space put a question mark it's asking please give the inside global IP address that means the IP address to which it has to be translated 200.0.0.2 okay. space put a question mark and just press enter now if i say show ip nat translations you can see that there is a static entry here right hmm. now one more thing i want to show you i'll say clear ip nat translations okay so if i say clear ip nat translations oh, i'll have to put a star okay and then if i say show ip nat translation you can see that all my dynamic entries have gone okay but the static entry is still there 
Okay. Yeah. This cannot be removed with the clear IP net translation and star command. This can be removed only if if you remove that IP net command. Okay. So if I say show running configuration and uh, if I go down, you can see that I have given two net commands here, right? Yeah. One is and uh, there is overload it has come i have not given overload but by default it has come i'll explain that later on okay so and then you can see that this static net this static net if you want to remove that you know a static entry from the net table you have to copy this and paste it with a no yes okay another thing is whenever in a net command you use the word overload it becomes pet okay port address translation okay that means multiple internal uh, ip ad, uh, ip addresses multiple private ip addresses will use the same public public ip address okay okay but yes. i have not given overload command here but whenever you net to a particular interface whenever you net to a particular Interface. interface automatically it will become overload mm -hmm. okay okay now i need to test it right i need to test it so this web server is there for your like you know uh, for outside people to access right yeah so that they know about your company so what i will do here is i will uh, put a pc in the internet assume somebody from internet is actually accessing it and uh, I will uh, connect it to this network only. Assume it is connecting somewhere in the internet and I'll just give an IP address here. Let's say this is 11.0.0.10. .0 .0 255.255.255.0 and 4.2.2.2 okay okay and then uh, you uh, uh, the dns server also needs to be updated here okay. so i will go to this dns server and then in the dns i'll write one more record that is www.xyz.com and the IP address is what 200.0.0.2 right yeah and then let's check I'll go to this PC and I want to know about XYZ company and I'll type www.xyz.com and I'm able to get inside yeah that means your uh, web server is accessible mm -hmm. and second uh, public IP address is working now if I say show IP net translation you will see that 200.0.0.2 uh, actually uh, a packet came with a destination IP address of 200.0.0.2 and it got converted to 10.0.0.50 because that was the static net. Yeah. This part is clear? Yes. Okay. Imagine now I have two servers. Okay okay imagine i have two servers okay let's say one is the uh, uh, your uh, what is that uh, web server and another one is one more server let's say i just put one more server And let's
used IP address 10.0.0.60, 55.255.255.0. And 10.0.0.1. And then you approach your service provider. You say, I have got one more server now. I require one more public address. Okay. But your service provider will is saying, No, I cannot give you. You have to use your existing IP addresses only. So what will you do here is that the second IP address 200.0.0.2, you will use it for both the servers okay okay in that case you will have to take the help of the port numbers yeah and then you have to remove the earlier net command the static net because you mm -hmm. have to rewrite it okay. i'm just copying it i'll go to the configuration mode and i'll paste it okay It is gone and I will rewrite the net command. Okay. So yeah. IP net inside source. Source, I'm not giving a list, but it is static. And if I put a question mark, now I will use the port numbers. Let's say the first is the web server. So it will be HTTP. So I'll say TCP and give me the inside local IP address that is uh, 10.0.0.50 space, put a question mark. It is giving, tell, asking me what is the port number. So I'll say web server 80 and then put a question mark. It is telling what is the inside global IP address that is the public address 200.0.0.2 and put a question mark. It is telling what is the port number. I'll say 80 and then enter similarly again one more net statement yip net inside source uh, let's say it is tftp i'm just uh, doing something okay static okay. but tftp it will be udp okay and then my inside local IP address is 10.0.0.60. That's the new server. And TFP port number is 69. And it is going to same 200.0.0.2. And it is 69. Now, if I say do show run look at the net statements so i have used different port numbers mm -hmm. and i'm using the same public address yeah to address two different servers right so yeah. and now if i say do so is necessary to evacuate the building Please leave by the nearest exit. Do not use the lifts. What is going Attention, on? Attention, please. Due to an emergency, it is necessary to evacuate the building. Please leave um, by the nearest the exit. Do not use the lifts. Huh? Now, uh, you have understood the static net, right? Yes. Now, next we will be doing is, uh, which will actually come in the exam. Mm. So that is, okay. that we will be creating a net pool. Okay. Now, assume that you have been given let's say three ip addresses 200.0.1.2 and dot three okay okay and we will be doing nat pool now in order to do nat pool we will remove the earlier nat commands okay uh -huh. yeah 
Okay, I will just take the IP net commands, copy them, paste it with a no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll just copy it. I'll go to the configuration mode and I'll paste it. Okay. Yeah. Just to verify, do show run. So access list is there, but the net command is not there. Okay. Uh, now, what I will do is I'll create a pool. Okay. So I will say okay. IP net pool. And okay. I need to give a name to the pool. Uh, those are the public addresses, right? So I'll just say public yeah. address. Put a question mark. It is telling, give me the starting address of the pool. Let's say it is 200.0.0.1 and give me the last IP address of the pool, 200.0.0.3. Three. Let's say 200.0.1.2.3 are given to you. Okay. Yeah. The net mask yeah. is 255.255.255.248. Okay. Okay. And now you will write the net statement. So. Mm -hmm. What will happen now is, I'll say IP net. Okay. Inside source, source is a list. The name yeah. of the list is, what was the list, the name of the list uh, for, mm. this was net permit. Right? Net permit, yeah. And now, earlier, it uh, we were netting it out of the interface, right? Yeah. But I have a pool now. So I'll say pool. And the name of the pool is public address. OK. Yeah. OK. Space. Yeah. Put a question mark. and. You know, there is overload, but let me do it without overload and let me see what happens and then we will do it with overload. Okay. 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 So now without overload. Now just show IP, NAT, translations, nothing is there. Okay. So what I'll do here is I'll go to the clients and I don't want multiple uh, net lines, so I'll just directly use 11.0.0. Let's say three. You're getting yahoo.com? Yeah. So if I go here, if I say show IP net translation, you will see that you know there is a statement here. Right, 10.0.0.2 yeah. is using 200.0.0.1. I'll go to the next PC. Okay. And if I go to the web browser again, and if I say 11.0.0.0, let's say 
sorry. I'm directly using the IP address because if I use the domain name, they will again time take time to resolve it and come back. <laughs> And then there will yeah. be multiple statements. So 11.0.0.2. Let me go to the router. And if I put show IP net translation, you will see that 10.0.0.2 was using 200.0.0.1. Yeah. 10.0.0.3 is using the second public address because the first public address is still busy. Yeah. Getting my point? Yes. Because there were multiple IP addresses in the pool. So let's go to the third PC. Okay. And here. If I ask him to go to anywhere. 11 .0 Let's say 3. He is able to access the internet and if I go and put show IP net translation again, he will see that now 10.0.0.4 is using 200.0.0.3. Yeah. Now at this point, I have three public IP addresses and all the three public addresses are being used up. Yes. Now if I say show access list it will show me that there is one more IP address which has been permitted, right? Yeah. Which is 10.0.0.5. So 2, 3, 4, 5. And I assume this is 5. Let me verify once. Yes, it is 10.0.0.5. And if I actually... Go and if I say... 11.0.0.2 is getting request timeout. Now, yeah. if I go to actually show IP access list, you will see that hit is there. There is hit against 10.0.0.5. That means it is getting permitted, right? Yeah, yeah. But if I put show IP net translation, the problem is that all my previous IP addresses are already used up. Like all my public addresses are already used up, right? Yeah. So what I can do here is I can go to one of the PC and I can stop. Yeah. Okay. Let's say his work is over. Uh, to speed up the process, what I will have to do is I will just say clear IP net translation. Okay. Because this uh, net information has to get removed. Clear IP net translations, I'll put a star. And now, if I go to this PC and I say go again, and he's able to go there. Can you see yes. that? Yeah. And if I uh, actually say show IP net translation, you can see that these people are also going and, and, and actually if you say go and this also. And then if you see here. Basically, at any point of time, maximum three devices are able to access. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what I will do here is show running configuration. I will rewrite the net command. Okay. This is the net command, IP net inside source. But we, now this time I'll add overload. Okay. Okay. So I'll go to the configuration mode. Same command I'm pasting. But I will add overload. That means it will become packed. Okay. Now, even this guy will be able to access.
so 11.0.0.2 okay i need to clear the net table once clear ip net translations and start and then go yes he's yes. going and i'll click here go okay. just to verify i'll just change it and i'll say go yes it's working fine and the fourth member let's say change it and yes everybody is able to access and if i say key, show ip net translations you can see that everybody is able to access yeah okay so this is basically